Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video we are going to create a plot screen and add some um, fall damage so we can see the plot screen, plot screen and the health system works. Yeah, let's get started. First, go to the link in the, the description and download this plot screen porter. You can download all of these if you want, but the only one you need now. Then. Um, Let's create a new folder. Let's I will call it re uh, how do you write it? Resources. I think like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll set the color to white, for example, something like that. Okay, now I'll open it and I want to move this to here. Yes, and now we want to create a new material. And let's call it blood screen, like this. Now let's open it and change this uh, material domain to a user interface and blend mode to translucent. This, apply and save. Then we want to get a texture sam sample, like this. And we want to connect the RGB to the final color, like this. Now, from here, uh, where is it? Here. Text oh. Texture, let's get the plot screen border. Apply and say. Now, from the alpha, we want to multiply. Connect that to the opacity. Now, what we want to multiply it with, we want to get the Radial, gradient, exponential, this one. Okay, and now we want to, to the UV, we want to add a texture coordinate. We can just connect it there. And the next one, we want to keep the uh, number two pressed and left click. Okay, so we get constant two vector and connect this uh, this one to there. Now let's make it 0.5 and 0.5, so it's aligned to the center. The next one we want to keep the one pressed and connect this to the radius. And uh, now we can change this value to 0.75. And next thing we have to get is to get scalar parameter, this one. Let's connect it to the den density and let's make it like one, for example. Now we want to change this name to opacity. And this invert density, we want to get static bool and we want to set it to true, like this. Now from here we have to get a 1 minus and connect this 1 minus to the B. So, okay, that's all. Okay, let's apply and save. Now we can close this. Now let's create from the material. Let's create material instance. Okay, now let's open it and let's uh, click this opacity so it's true and set is to zero like this save and close now we actually want to go our HUD and we want to add a image here now to the anchors we want to go here to the right bottom and anchor it to the whole screen like this and now we have want to change all these offset numbers to zero so it's anchored to the whole screen now actually I want to make this set order like minus five so it's under everything else. So we can click stuff over it. Okay. Now we want to go to the frost and to the image. Now we want to get the plot screen instance, this one. And now you cannot see anything because we set the instance uh, scalar parameter to zero. Okay, but now it's there. Now we can change this image name to plot screen like this, compile and save. And 
next thing we actually want to go back to the blueprints and now let's create a another folder let's call it components components like this and I will actually give it a color also I will make it like something like blue like light blue maybe like that because it's blueprint comp for blueprint comp components and stuff like that now let's open it and now let's go to the, uh, create a new blueprint class and get from here actor component now let's call it uh, bpc underscore health for example okay now we can open that now we we want to add few variables first one is a boolean which should be called health under oh health underscore restoring restoring now let's duplicate it and call it health um current and now let's change it to float let's duplicate it one more time and call it health max like that now we can make this health current and max a default values to 100 like this compile and save now we actually have to create a function and the function should be called health underscore remove like this now we want to get the health current here and from the health current we want to minus <coughs> or decrease and now we want to clamp this value clamp load this I will align all this like that now we want to set the health current and we want to set it to the return value like that now from here we want to connect it to here so it adds a pin node uh, we want to actually compile and since this uh, node that is named input name to amount amount like that and then we want to get the health max and we want to set it to the max value like that okay easy as that then we actually what else what else um oh we want to check if this is uh less oh less equal than zero if it is we want to add a output called dead not dead at dead dead and there is the output now we want to just set it if we are if the health is less or equal to zero so okay that's it now we want to compile and save and duplicate this and now we actually want to uh, rename it uh, to health add now we can just remove this one and add to it connect it to the value and to the amount now we can remove this and from here yeah the output is removed so i think that's all from here health okay i think that's all now we want to go to our uh, pp first person character and we want to add now we have to search for the bpc health okay it's there and what else what else what else oh now i think we can actually go back to the player hot here and now we want to go to the graph and we want to actually let's get all of this and convert it to a macro oh it's there the macro name should be called like uh, cross hair underscore alpha or something like that so it's this and now we can change these values and these logics from here if you want 
but it's not taking the whole bed graph. Now it looks much cleaner. Now we can move this there up like this. Now we actually want to create a new function. And actually we don't have to, I was creating, I was about to create a new custom event, but we can actually create a new function. I think it's better. Yeah, let's call it blood green underscore opacity, opacity like this. Now from here we want to get the plot screen and get dynamic material like this. Okay, and from here we want to what was it? Uh, set scalar parameter value like this. Now let's give it some space. And this parameter name was opacity, opacity like this. And now from here we want to actually we want to actually get the as pp first person character edit and ppc ppc health like this. And from here we have to get health current and health max this now we want to divide this health current by the uh, health max like that and now from here we want to map range clamped like this and we actually want to connect oh we want to connect this to the value and I will actually move this a little bit like that Okay, and these values, I think uh, this A is zero, B is one. And when the B, A is zero, the outrange A is three and outrange B. So it changes zero, three and one to zero. So it inverts and we can do the same thing with multiplying it by minus three, I think. No, no, no. And minus three and adding three to it, but this is the easier way. So yeah. Okay, that's all for there from, okay. Now we have to go to the event tick and let's actually add a that plot screen opacity to there, here. Okay, it's added there. And then we actually need to go to our uh, PP first person character to actually be able to take some damage. And the place where I want to, we want to try that fall damage thing. So let's move this timeline and all the code that's on the right side. Let's move it a little bit there and add a sequence here. And we can actually move this all there also like that. And we can move this a little bit back. Okay. And I will move this a little bit more up so we get more space. And then we actually want to get the BPC health and get from here health remove. Health remove like this. And we want to connect this to there. Okay like that. Now the red is dead. We want to add a branch here, connect it there. And if we are dead, we actually want to create a new function called dead. And we don't want, we don't need to add it anything to, uh, to it yet. Now let's just connect it to here. So later on it's already done, you know. And I will actually move this a little bit there also. So yeah. Now, wait, I think this doesn't look good. I will move it a little bit more down. Like that. And then we want to check how much we want to remove the health. We want to get the, this. We want to actually get this jump land height and jump uh, start height copy all this and paste it to here. Now from here we want to divide it and the number that I found that works 
pretty good, is minus 12. Okay. And now from here we want to get the select node or select float or whatever you want. Just get the select like this. And now if this is greater than 50, then we want to connect this to the A like that. But I will show you what it does after I have uh, align this Fuck. like this now it's better okay so what it does is it's get it gets the jump land height and jump start height and so basically if we start yeah we get the okay the amount that we have jumped or like dropped is it like 700 units or something like that Okay, after that we get this, uh, that uh, amount. And if it's like minus 700, we want to turn it to the positive, so that for the minus, and uh, divide it by 12. So minus 700 divided by minus 12 should be like, I don't know right now, but something <laughs> around a little bit under 50 maybe. My head is not working, but okay. So I will make it simple, more simple. It's like minus 10. So now it's a 70. So if we jump from over 50, so if the jump is over 50 uh, things, like units uh, or 500 units, so 50 more than 50 damage, then we take the damage. If it's less, then I don't want to take. So we don't take damage like from little one feet steps you can put here whatever you want but i think the 50 is good when it's over 50 then you take that damage okay i will adjust it later sorry about my expl explanation i'm not very good at explaining things at least in english and now we want to create uh, one more thing actually we can try this now if it works as it's supposed to check if we jump from here it does, shouldn't do anything it didn't oh actually we can also go to the player heart add a little add a text here quickly here now we'll make it like 100 okay and i will find it it's just for testing purposes now we want to get this bpc health uh health grant health max divide like that and now this text float node there okay now we can see the health on the screen it's one for some reason i did it oh what did i do i don't have to at this. Sorry about that. Only this health current. Now it should say 100. Okay. Now if we go over the, if we go to the here, this should be like 700 units, I think. Now we take some damage, you see. When it's over 50, we take damage. This was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It was just worth it. I think we were there because Okay, that's pretty good now, but the health is not uh, not restoring, so we have to fix that or create the logic for that. Now we have to go to the BP first person character and we want to find some empty space. Actually, I will move this a little bit more up, so more, yeah, and also the whole thing more up. Okay, and this one also there. In some later episode we will organize this all better, but now it's like this. Now let's create a custom event. Custom event like this. And it should be called restore um, health. Okay, and now from here we want to get a branch. And the logic for the branch we have to get the PPC health. And 
as current and if it's less than health max like this so if our current health is less than health max and let's add a and boolean like this because we want some another thing here also and now we also want to get this ppc health again and get the health restoring variable like this we want this be true and our health be less than the health max okay and if it's not then we want to set the health restoring variable let's set it to false so if our this is true and this is like uh, less uh, no so like uh, if this it has gotten like this to the same value so it's like full you have full health but this is still true it changes it to the false okay uh, and after that we want to so here we want to set the current health uh, let's get the PPC health here and set current health like this give it some space because we will need it and now I will make it a bit better like this or actually I want to why did I do it like that I don't need to do it like that I can just move it to here like okay now it's better and I will align this also okay now we want to get the health uh, health current like this we want to add to it but the amount we want to add to it is let's actually give them more space like this the amount we want to add to it is let's get the health max <laughs> we can just add some random number but if we do it this way it always uh, at the same amount depend like it's not if we just add like some value to it like one for every frame if we have 60 frames it adds 60 in one second if we have 30 frames it has 30 so we have to do a little bit more uh like a little, little bit better logic to it so it doesn't change with your frame rate and stuff like that so now let's get the health max and i want to divide this and because i want to get the health max because if we later add a, some perk that as uh, makes the max health like 200 health or something like that now it's 100 then it, uh, the restoring time would be the still the, st would still be the same sorry about my i don't know, mumbling i don't know why i can cannot speak today let's divide the health max by eight and now we want to multiply it and the thing we want to multiply it with is world delta seconds this this makes sure that it's always the same uh, and it doesn't change if your frame rate changes okay now let's connect this up there okay and now we actually want to do one more thing. We want to clamp this value. Clamp float. And we want to clamp it by um, zero should be sure zero and the max should be this max. I will add a reroute to here and also to here. Now it looks pretty decent. These are not aligned, but now they are. Okay, it looks good. That's done for that part. Now we want to add a new custom event. This is a simple one. Let's just call it a set restore health like this. And this only needs a timeline. And let's connect it to the play from start. Timeline length for me should be the default the five seconds and 
after it has finished we should get the PPC health and set health restoring and set it to true and on the finished like this now when we have finished this five seconds it's it makes the health restoring true okay now we have this log logic here I will add a comment to it and I will actually call it health restoring okay or actually I will make restore health and if you didn't know you can just uh, oh sorry if you want to add a comment you can just do this and press C like C add a comment okay and now I also oh what happened I want to remove this and I want to move this there to here and now I want to change this color to a light blue like this so I can know about the health a little bit more red light red so yeah sorry if I have spoken something some weird stuff on this video but yeah I'm a little bit tired okay it's there now we just want to connect that set uh, restore restore health to here and now we want to go back to the fall damage thing here and if we are not dead we want to set rest restore health like this okay now there was one thing it was this I wanted this to be a minus divided by minus 12 that's for me you can leave it whatever you want now let's try if everything works let's jump from, from here if we jump from here okay now we have 31 health let's wait five seconds now it starts to store and the screen goes like normal again okay I think it works one two three four five and it starts okay it works and it looks pretty good uh, we can later on add some another things to that maybe a heartbeat to the blood screen as I have on my own game so when you when your health is lower the heartbeat is like high uh, faster and the whole screen will like you know move as heartbeats it looks like better in my opinion but yeah we can do it later but yeah I think this was all for this video if you liked what you saw and if you learned something new please click the like button and subscribe if you want to see some more and yeah see you in the next one bye